everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, guess what time it is? This is Cindy and yeah, I still have my Christmas nails. They gotta go away soon. Um, Lord, what do you see? What do you see? You see Gina Aaron's stamps. So it is time for another design team video. All right, what this month's theme is, is build on it. So I believe what Gina had in mind was to take some of her stamps and build on it. Let's let's make a nice, awesome journal page. So I'm going to use Gina's stamps, of course. I decided I'm going to use some Neo Color Twos, which I have here in my little box. And I'm also going to incorporate stamps that you actually saw me carve earlier this month on my monthly challenge. So let's get going with this fun. Let's see, what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's throw some Neo Colors down. I picked up green. That works. Why not? This is just uh, one of the journals that I had that, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> pardon me, I had um, did a leftover stencil on. So, yeah, why not? Let's just put some color down. And all I'm doing is just taking the Neo colors and just throwing some color down. That's, that's the only thing I'm accomplishing at this point, which is all good. And let's use a little bit of this one. And we're just going to have fun, right? Why do it if you can't have fun? We might have to use some more to color up that black. I don't know. We'll see. Just going to take a paintbrush here. i got to show you this. I absolutely love it when my paintbrushes get into this um, stage. They just, they're so well loved. I love them. Very cool. So anyways, we're just going to take some water and we're just going to activate the um, Neo Color. Just like I said, to throw color down here. We're just activating it. I don't want it soaking wet, but I do want it just to pick up that Neo Color and ooh, ooh. not soaking wet. Just to activate it. I think we're going to have to use some other colors on this too because um, I'm going to want more than what's on here. But hey, let's start with the first layer. Why not? So with Gina's challenge today is build on it. Um, I'm sure if you have any of Gina's stamps, I'm sure you've got other stamps that you can use along with Gina's stamps. And she's all good with that. I mean, that's that's what stamps are for, right? To use them. So just because a, you know, a designer does a certain stamp doesn't mean that you can't ever use other stamps with it. And I can tell you by any of the designers, I'd be surprised if they say, well, no, you can only use my stamps. No, that's not, that's not the way artists are. We're like, yeah, use them all. Use them with something else. Why not? So I am going to let this dry. Actually, I'm going to dry it up real quick. And I think I'm going to pull out some paints. We'll be right back. So I pulled out some Dina Wakely paints, of course. I've got turquoise, lime, and lemon. And uh, I'm just going to put some around in spots. Why not? Because we can, right? And I don't want it, I don't want it to really overpower the page because I want to put stamps on here, but I do want to cover up some of this black. So I'm just this is just a um, three-quarter angle, no, a half, a half angle, sh angle shader. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Get that out. And uh, I'm just using this to kind of squish the paint around. A little there, a little there. So just to try to kind of blend it in. I don't want it to really stand out a lot. I just want it blended. So... I'm angle shading it in right now. So some of that back, the black is going to show up in the background. That's okay. I don't mind. But I don't really want it to be as as deep as it is right now. So okay, 
there's that one. Now let's take the lime. And let's just go in here with some lime. See, it just kind of pushes that black back a little bit. I don't want it all the way. I just want to just play with it. I'm going to have to order more of this paint here soon. Soon! You know, I'm sure you've seen my studio tour. I'm sure I'll run out of paint, so yeah, you got to order more. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at myself. My husband heard me say that. He just stayed here and shake his head. He'd be like, really? <laughs> Do you really think you need more? Of course. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just made myself laugh. That's a good thing, right? I've been watching this video series of this couple. And it's called The Fry Life. F-R-E-Y. And it's a couple, uh, Peter and Mary. And... Mary has cystic fibrosis and basically they're they're sharing her journey through that awful awful disease and you know one of the things that they bring to um, it's on YouTube one of the things that they bring to YouTube is the fact that they are so there's they have such positive outlooks they have such positive attitudes um, even when Mary is having a bad day they still you know take it with a grain of salt and yeah it's a bad day it's a rough day but they still just enjoy life and make the most of every day and boy talk about inspiring those two are a couple that I think anybody um, that has any type of a daily pain or a disease that you know can really get you down um, those are two people to watch because they they just lift everything up like um, you know, it, it, it's it's just amazing to watch them and to watch their their attitude and their process and their how they just they deal with it. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of people out there that it's so hard they don't know how to deal with it. So um, when you can find somebody that gives you that better outlook, it's just you got to check them out. They've got over 100,000 uh, followers at this point. And like I said, it's basically, a, you know, they're documenting their everyday life with Mary and her disease. And her disease is not one to be taken lightly. Um, cystic fibrosis, if you don't know, basically um, your lungs keep filling up with fluid. And, you know, she gets infections in her lungs and that kind of stuff. And you talk about, it's, it's got to be, just be so hard for her. I mean just every breath she takes is just a you know a um, a challenge for her and the way she takes it and takes that challenge and um, you know makes it positive puts a positive spin on it it's just amazing just amazing okay my phone's pinging away I'm sorry I'll get that shut down all right, so I've added some paints to this, and I like it. I've kind of pushed that uh, black into the background, which is good. So let me dry this up. We're going to start playing with some stamps and having fun. I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this stamp right here, and we're going to start building this page. Now, I want... I'm just going to use regular black archival ink. So I make sure I get a good impression. We're going to start right here. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm hoping a couple more times. Perfect. And I want to do one more. Now, the last one that I do, I only want the hump part of the stamp so actually what I'm going to do is find a piece of scrap paper which I have right here and I'm going to put it over this right here because I just want the hump portion of this there we go and I can just continue out with the hump so there's that 
Let me... I don't have my other journal things here to clean this off on. Let's grab this little journal. Just need to clean it off. Alright, so that one's cleaned up. So there's one. Now, another few of Gina's stamps I'm going to be using. First thing I want to do is I want to continue that line. So let's continue that line. We're just going to bring it on down here. Maybe as long as my big... <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Is this one started? Yes, it is. Let's just bring it on down here. Okay. Now, I want to use these little guys because I have not used them yet and they just look so cool. So let's grab a different block. Put this one away. And let's see, we've got our giraffe. We have the elephant. We have the lion. Gonna have some birds and stuff here too, but let's see. Let's start out with our giraffe. Try to figure out where he's gonna go. I think the elephant's gonna go here, the lion's gonna so okay, so. We're going to have our giraffe. Same thing, I'm using archival ink. And I like stamping this way. I like doing the stamp this way because that way you can actually see and make sure every piece of the stamp gets um, ink on it. And we're going to go just like this. When I try to do them, you know, put the stamp on the pad, I always end up with a little piece that's missing some ink, and I don't like that. Yay! There she is! We're just going to clean it off. You never know what's going in that book, but there we go. Okay, so she goes down here. Okay, next we're going to do our elephant. I'm going to let her dry. I might have smudged her. That's all right. We can fix it, right? Now, see, when I just looked at that, um, because of the way I'm inking the stamp, I could tell that the bottom of the trunk wasn't done. So... That way you can focus back on that piece and know you have ink over the entire stamp. So this one is going right here. Yay! Oh, let's stick an elephant in this book. All right. And our next one is going to be the this little guy, the lion. I don't need that big of a stamp block. This one. Okay, so if you look at that, if I had just done that real quick, see there's parts of it that are not inked correctly. So... If I can do this to a stamp, I prefer to do it this way. Yeah, much better. Okay, and this one's going to go right here. Love it! And let's see. Let's stick you on once this is up. There we go. So we clean her off. All right, let's see. What else are we going to use on here? That's a good start. All right, I want to do another border. Um, actually, I'm going to use this as a border stamp. And again, this is another one of Gina's stamps. This came off this set, which has got a lot of cool doodads and borders with it. So we're going to do this one. Let's 
I don't know if you can hear my cat in the background, but she's crying for her brother, I think. She says, meow. We got it. it. See, it goobered a little bit. Eh, no big deal. No big deal. No big deal. And then just this little piece. Whoops, wrong end. I just inked the wrong end. <laughs> I'll just put that right there. All right. Now, I'm just going to go in and just clean off this stamp block. Close enough. Okay. What is this one? Now, I did say I wanted to inc incorporate some of the handmade stamps that I had done. Uh, the hand carved stamps. This was one of my stamps from um, just hand carving that I did. This is your challenge for earlier in the month. And I just wanted to use it a little bit to create more of a border on the page. Okay, now let's see what I can do. Now I am going to do some coloring and all kinds of stuff on this, but I'm still not quite done with actually making the page. So, what I would like to do, I know Gina's got them in here somewhere. I might use this one. This one is going to give me some... trying to figure out where I want to put it and how I want to bring it in. I think that's too big. That's too big. Aha, uh -huh, we can do this right here. This is just like a stem. So what we're going to do, just going to kind of incorporate this as a tree branch maybe. There we go. So that's my tree branch. Uh, we're going to take, let's see, I'm going to put some of these as leaves on it. I like this one. It's going to be a big leaf, but that's okay. Abby, what are you doing? She's over on my other desk, my journal desk. Abby, do get down. Get down, honey. Okay, these are just going to be big leaves. Right? All right. So I just wanted it to kind of look like a little tree coming out through there. And these animals are tiny, so we got big trees and tiny animals. It's all good. So we use that one. Now I want to do some. I want a bird. Bird, a bird, a bird. Bird is a word. These are little bitty birds. Where's your other birds? Here's the other birds. Uh, let's put. Um, I like this guy. I like this guy too. Oh, I like them all. Let's put this guy up there. So this little birdie is going to go. Oops, oops, oops. Adding black to my page. This little birdie. This little birdie said here is one. I don't know. Um, it's going to go right here. There's a little birdie in the tree. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll worry about putting these back in a minute. 
or not I'll do it now <laughs> okay there's the birdie now I want to go with a few um, let's see don't want those that's not what I'm looking for right here let's go with some of Gina's doodles here I like these stars so let's use the stars I always do this. I lose my blocks. Here's the other one. That's why I try to put them back when I'm done with them. Because if not, I lose them. Okay. This I'm not real worried about getting an even because I'm just kind of do to do here and there with it. Right? So that's no worries. And all right, I'm gonna stop right there on the stamping, and let's get out my. Um, I think I'm gonna use my Spectrum Noirs, and I'm gonna dry this ink, and let's start getting this page together. I'll be right back with you. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, these are my Spectrum Noirs. Um, I got this cool little box to put them in. And one of the things that I'm challenging myself to do is to use more of the products that I have this year. So we are going to work on these. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I just need some colors that I'm looking for. That's the only thing about them being in that box is I can't just... Boom, pick up a color. Doesn't work that way, so. Now, these pens, um, if I had known now what I knew then, yeah, if I had known then what I know now, I don't know as I would have bought these. Uh, not because they aren't good, there's nothing wrong with them. I just don't use a whole lot of alcohol pens like this I just don't and I'm not sure why and I think that's part of the reason why I'm trying to make myself use some of this stuff you know I'm not sure what the reason is maybe it's just I don't know I just haven't so I'm trying to make myself use them more I know I don't like this color let's see if we get another color Ugh. Let's try this. Yeah, that's better. So, like I said, I'm just I'm trying to make myself use more of these supplies and you know learn about them. You know, is it something I should have been using all along? Is it something that yeah I could do without if they run out? Okay, I don't need to buy any more. Um, that kind of thing. So you'll see me you know picking up different supplies here and there and and making myself use them. And today, it's the Spectrum Walls. These are already yellow, but I'm still going to add yellow to them, just so they all look the same. Alright. Now, elephants are supposed to be gray, right? Wrong! My elephant is going to be pink. Because I want him pink. Or red, I'm not sure what this is number DR3 so I'm guessing it's a red so my little elephant is going to be red now one thing I'm curious about these are alcohol ink markers well, I can't tell because there's paint on the other side of that I'll have to look on this one um, let's try this different so it's not quite so choppy Filling in my elephant. Filling in my elephant. Yay! Let's do a pink elephant here. Okay, as far as coloring, these are kind of cool to color with because you can do big move over you. 
you can do big um, spots. Look at that. He's cool. All right, I want to do his other parts more pink. Let's take this one and do his face more pink. Let's get a different kind. Yeah. We'll put some. I'll put some of the red around him, but his face is gonna be pink and his nose. Okay, I got some of the ink on there. That's okay. Do, 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 do. so cute. Isn't he cute? Gina, you did a great job with these guys. They're cute. Alright, I want to put some of this red. Look at that. Isn't he cute? I like him. I'm <laughs> not sure I like him pink, but I like him. All right. Let me just grab some more colors. I'll be right back. All right. I bet you guys are, none of you have ever done this before. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking along, creating, you know, having fun playing with the paints and the pens and just doing my thing, right? Chatting. Nothing exciting, but chatting away. You know. <laughs> I'm like, alright, I gotta get something to eat. It's afternoon here and I haven't ate anything yet today. So I reach up to shut the camera off and the camera's not even on. <laughs> I'm sorry! So, yeah, some of this you didn't get to see. You didn't miss a whole lot other than me coloring. That's all I was doing. Right now I'm using a, a uh, <clears throat> portfolio oil pastel just to kind of put these guys on a surface so that they're not hanging out here in Never Never Land. See now it kind of looks like they're standing on something. So just playing around. Um, but yeah, I was just jabbering about just normal stuff, everyday stuff. and. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I did get something to eat. I had a bagel and cream cheese, so I'm I'm set set till dinner. And dinner, I'm gonna make my hubs some um, chili. He likes my chili. We're not. Neither one of us are really fond of kidney beans, so I make chili with black beans, and it's just so much better than those kidney beans. Kidney beans to me are very, very dry and just bleh. And it's funny because my husband won't eat anybody else's chili. But he will eat mine because, again, I use it with black beans. All right. So, I have to tell you, <coughs> I started off with those Spectrum Noir pens. Let me bring in a little bit more. Can you see that a little bit better? I started off with the Spectrum Noir pens. I'll be honest with you. There's something about them. I'm just not a fan. So I ended up putting them back. And I ended up just using my paint pens and my pos uh, Poscas and that kind of stuff. And I feel much better. So now I'm going to use a stamp. This is Gina's stamp. And this one says, you are. You are beautiful. So my you are exactly what I said. Beautiful. So for some reason I just decided that this page needed to state you are beautiful. There we go. Love it. Okay, so I really hope 
uh, you check out Gina's stamps, her line of stamps, because she's got really cool stamps, and, and they're a lot of fun to play with. Um, you know, I just, I used her new set, one of her new sets, and I've used actually a little bit out of her old sets as well. So, they're not old, they're last year's sets. So, <clears throat> pardon me, I hope you guys, this was her original, that was her very first set. See the feather and the flowers and the bird and... Um, I hope you guys check out her stamps and uh, check out her Etsy shop. She also has digital downloads, which you can use in journals like this, and they're just a lot of fun. So, just because I can't leave this without, i got to have something in here, spirals. Spirals and circles! Just got to have spirals and circles somewhere. Just to have fun. So anyways, I hope I've inspired you to, you know, even if it's not Gina Stamps, we prefer it be hers, but if if not, pull out some stamps and make yourself a journal page and just enjoy the process. Have fun playing. Okay, because that's really what it's all about. And don't forget that you are beautiful. Alright? I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you soon. Bye! I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!